Good afternoon. My name is Allison Howard, and today I'll be talking about the use of thermally conductive plastics in wireless router applications. I'd like to start by sharing details of a wireless router model, talk about the heat dissipation challenges that could be addressed with thermally conductive plastics, then finish with a look at specific benefits of boron nitride-based thermally conductive plastics in electronics applications. Here's a simple model of a wireless router that has multiple sources of heat mounted on either a steel heat spreader or an aluminum heat spreader. One difference being that steel has a thermal conductivity of around 60 watts per meter Kelvin, and aluminum has a thermal conductivity of around 100 watts per meter Kelvin. Now we're assuming a highly convection limited environment inside the box, so there are no fans to help dissipate the heat. Let's take a look at the temperatures. Our baseline case assumes a plastic housing for the wireless router without any thermal conductivity enhancements. In this case, it's a polycarbonate with a thermal conductivity of around 0.2 watts per meter Kelvin. And here you see the respective temperatures of the chips at steady state, with lower overall temperatures in the case with the aluminum heat spreader. When we increase the thermal conductivity of the plastic housing to 2 watts per meter Kelvin, we see significant decreases in the temperatures at the various chips. These decreases can translate into lower operating temperatures, more comfort for the user, and potentially reduced failure rates from overheating. There are various material solutions to pick from when trying to solve thermal management problems. Diecast aluminum and graphite loaded plastics are sometimes used. However, they both also contribute electrical conductivity, which could be undesirable in certain applications. Ceramic additives like boron nitride can be used to make thermally conductive plastics which are electrically insulating. These plastics are also lightweight, offer a wide range of color and design freedom, and won't interfere with wireless signals. Wireless devices communicate via electromagnetic waves, and electrically conductive materials could interfere with these waves, shielding communications to and from devices. Typical thermally conductive plastic formulations in the ranges that were used in the wireless router example would contain around 30 to 50 weight percent of graphite or carbon fiber and would have an electrical resistivity in the range of 10 to the 1 to 10 to the 3 ohm centimeters. At a frequency of 1 gigahertz and a thickness of 2 millimeters, these plastics would provide 8 to 30 decibels of shielding. To put that into perspective, at 10 decibels of shielding, the final signal strength is only one-tenth of the original. And at 20 decibels, the final signal is only one one-hundredth of the original. So you can see how electrically conductive materials could be disadvantageous in some electronics applications. There is a clear trend towards smaller electronic devices with greater functionality. Adding thermal conductivity to plastic housings can provide another option for managing heat by lowering temperatures and reducing failure rates. Specifically, boron nitride-based thermally conductive plastics are electrically insulating and therefore won't interfere with wireless signals. They're also lightweight and offer broad color and design freedom. Momentum has the broadest product portfolio for therm creating thermally conductive plastics, which are also electrically insulating. We can help with stimulating temperatures, formulating plastics, and measuring thermal conductivity. Please contact Momentip to help solve your next thermal management challenge. Thanks for your attention.